that one to Collegiate, where the Peter Jones Enterprise Academy will be meeting the Entrepreneur of the Year 2011, um, Grant Wrigley. He's going to tell us a little bit about what he's been doing in the past year and how he's spreading the message and motivating others like him to be entrepreneurs. Right, um, so today we have with us as well, we have Grant Ridley, this Young Entrepreneur of the Year. Could you just tell us a little bit about what does that mean and how did you achieve that? Um, well, last year I attended the Peter Jones Enterprise Academy in Manchester and throughout the year um, I set up my own business, did a four-week work placement, um, lots of real-life business challenges um, and competed against everyone else within the academy. Um, and at the end of the year, I pitched to Peter Jones himself in a panel and managed to impress him enough that he awarded me Entrepreneur of the Year. Oh, excellent. Um, so since then, uh, what have you been doing as the Entrepreneur of the Year? Well, I've been running my own business full time. Um, I actually started university as soon as I finished the academy. Um, but five weeks in, I just wasn't doing it for us. I was bored after lectures that were just not motivating us. I wanted to be out there doing real life, um, real life work. So that was it. I dropped out, went with my own business idea. Um, and since then I've been running that public speaking at schools and colleges, sort of spreading the message that there's more than just university out there. I think lots of people sort of have it in the head that you go to school, then you go to college, then you go to university, then you get a job. And there's so much more out there than that. I believe that you're fitting in the academics as well as the practical side of things. So you're managing to run your own business, but you're also, as you'll say to the others today, that there is a, a point at which where you do gain your qualifications. So what will you then go back to university and do, and how will that be a different experience for you? Well, I'm actually planning to go back to university um, in Sunderland in September to do a degree in education. So after three years, I'd be a qualified teacher. Um, so basically, I'd continue being enterprising and work freelance alongside the degree. Um, but I'd always have that backup um, of being able to drop into teaching. And teaching is something that I've wanted to go into from a young age, really. So what would your message be to the young people like yourselves who would like to be entrepreneurs or would like to then take on their um, great ambitions as you've done before as well? Go for it. I mean, this type of economy, this type of climate, it's the perfect time. When you're young, you've got hardly any liabilities. Um, you've got so much less to risk than when you say 40 and you've got a house and kids um, and wife. Um, but yeah, so when you're young, just go for it, take a risk. If you fail, so what? In America, you're not classed as an entrepreneur unless you've failed at least twice. Um, so yeah, just go for it, take risks, learn from failure, um, and you'll become stronger. And it's a fantastic experience, a roller coaster journey, um, lots of ups and downs. But if you're prepared to work hard and you've got passion and you want to get somewhere, then definitely just take that risk.